I want to introduce you to some of the talented producers that are part of the Mid-Atlantic Music Group here in Red, Red, Red Room Studios. To my left right here, we have D, producer out of Washington, D.C. Good. And he's the most talented producer in our down south beats mixed with go-go. Another producer extraordinaire, we have Dudley. He's from Baltimore, Maryland. He's a producer, a musician, a singer. I don't know what else I can say about this talented brother, but he knocks it out in New York for us every single week. And last but not least, one of the co-founders of the Mid-Atlantic Music Group, John Gordon, producer, engineer, extraordinaire. What's up, folks? Uh -oh. So you have it, the Mid-Atlantic Music Group. Hey, what's up? This is Michael Avon, aka Mystery. On that Bring Them Out DVD, got an exclusive interview with Kanika. How you doing? Hey, what's up, Michael? How you doing? Not bad. That's good. So, since we're here at Mid Atlantic Music Group, why don't you tell me about the company and tell me about the people who work for it? Okay, well, actually, you're here at um, the Ritman Studios in um, our locations in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, Mid Atlantic Music Group is a wonderful music group. We're, we're doing what I think nobody is doing inside the, the Baltimore and DC area right now. We're bridging the gap um, right now. Atlanta's hot. You have. Um, uh, New York that is hot, but what about D.C., what about Baltimore, what about Maryland? We, we know that there's so many talented artists just in this region alone. So Mid-Atlantic Music Group, that's just that. We bridge the gap between Baltimore and D.C. Uh, we have some talented producers, uh, we have some talented artists, um, and right now we, we have a, a whole host of people who have worked in the industry. They have you know years of experience, and we're focusing on, um, on artist placement of, of songs. We also have artists that are coming out, like myself. Um, we have another artist by the name of Dudley. Um, an artist by the name of Tita G, a, a rap group that are going to be coming out um, very soon to stores near you. So definitely watch out for the music group. Okay. So since we got so many people in the house, can you introduce us to them? That is not a problem. So I have with me um, John Gordon, who is our one of our founders of the Mid-Atlantic Music Group. And um, he's a producer and an engineer. He's been in the industry for a very long time. Um, he's worked with such great artists like Raheem Devon, Drew Hill, Cisco, DMX. The list goes on and on. And um, to his um, right, we have Dudley, and he's one of our newest producers um, in the house. Um, he's actually from Baltimore, Maryland, and he's a producer, a, a musician, he's um, a, an artist who's about to branch out, has a wonderful singing voice, a wonderful writer, and um, we're about to make this happen. Great. So, since we talk about urban music and the urban lifestyle, sometimes people, especially the media, kind of thinks of urban life as kind of like dumbfounded people, right. like we're uneducated people. Why don't you tell me about Be More News? Yeah, so uh, Be More News, um, dot com is how you can find us on top of the web, but Be More News dot com um, bridges that gap. Um, a whole bunch of young individuals and uh, we are bringing candid news to people's to people's ears, to their, um, their, their computer sets. Um, so if you're interested in looking at uh, the current issues of politics or looking at um, information is going on not only in Baltimore but Maryland and abroad. Then you can log on to www.bemorenews.com. Um, we have two radio programs that um, we feature throughout the week. Um, one is entitled One Mic, and that's coming from Morgan State University every Thursdays at six o'clock p.m. And then we also have a show called Power Hour, and that's coming from WOLB 1010 AM radio, and it's ten o'clock. And um, again, we, we, we bridge the gap and allow people to come on the radio who are talking about the real issues, about having to deal with the news who want to you know, put out the image that they want to put out on black people. Um, we're right now about to shoot our first television pilot, so hopefully we'll be able to expand and, and your viewers will be able to watch us as well on television. Great. Well, I want to thank you for your time. It's like, you know, oh, we got to put you on the like spot. <laughs> we got to put you on the spot. Just want to get a little taste of your talent. So if you can, for our viewers, can we get a little taste of your style? Maybe a little singing, a little, little sample. Uh, that's not a problem. Um, this song is entitled Real World and actually kind of deals with what you were talking about, urban music and looking at artists as being more than just dealing with the outside issues of hoes and, 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 and booty pop and nursing. Um, or having them sound like this. Living in a real world, a chicks and whips, chrome out, platinum on your wrist. Living in a real world. Living in a real world, a power rich, hustlers die still trying to make it big. Living in a real world. In the hood, another thing we don't need is a pimp, a hustler, a gangster. Across the air, the only choices we hear is how to be a pimp, a hustler, a gangster. 
living in a real world a power rich yes there we have it bring them out dvd that was kanika and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to the next scene which is bless it and little new Y'all tell me who won that one, because we get a little question about who won, but I'm going to go with Lil Nuke. I'm going to put my money on Lil Nuke. So, anyway, bring him out. I'll let your boy. <laughs>